drove past. So, okay, that goes like Where this. Where the heck did you find that thing? Like, is that a GPS holder? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like two dollars. That's what you a dollar. Now, a camera holder. Yeah. That's the run cam HD F2.8. Hello everybody, I'm Ryan and I'm Chris. We're with HobbyFlip.com here in support of Drone Mission. We have Leo as our cameraman. Uh, we're here today to talk about the new advanced Runner 250 version by Walkera. Ryan, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about this bad boy. Well, a cool new feature about this advanced version is the GPS first and foremost. It's a much stable much more stable flight um, and it's something we were looking forward to and we're so glad they did put that in there. Another cool thing is the lights here in the front and the back on the frame. Um, oh, they added lights here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's excellent. And uh, Leo, did you say this had the upgraded GPS um, protocol in here? Yeah, it's Smart to be or CC3. Okay. So APM. is it dual GPS or just a single GPS protocol? It's dual GPS. It's dual, okay. Yeah, but it's, okay, it's confirmed that now. To be confirmed. So yeah. that would be the GLONASS yeah. and then the uh, normal GPS that's been in service for a while. Yeah. Russian and the regular Americans. Yes. American GPS. Another cool thing is it has bigger motors, yep. um, has different shape of props, good for acrobatics, um, flips, uh, Self-tightening uh, because these are high RPM motors and they will spin off. So self-tightening props, you won't lose them. They're very durable too. Yeah. They're not like those um, other racing props that just break every single time. Yep, it, um, it has the same battery. It has a nice little grill here, kind of protect the camera and the headlights. Yep. Uh, same landing gear. Yeah, one thing um, to point out though, is um, you want to uh, make sure your center of gravity is correct. Uh, and the center of gravity is uh, right about here. And you can, you know, you can balance it out with your fingers and get a pretty good idea of if you're center. And you can also uh, adjust the battery too and tighten the strap. And that'll have a big deal on your center of gravity where your battery is placed. You have a little bit of room. So depending on what components you add, say if you add a camera here, a camera yes. here, it'll vary per copter, per person yeah, on they, your setup. But. They also added a um, battery stopper here uh, because uh, one big problem when you do a crash, you're heading forward when you hit something, this battery wants to just force forward and hurt your equipment. So they added this, which is a great addition to an already solid piece. Uh, overall, this thing flies fantastic. We're gonna show you guys some footage and uh, we really look forward to playing with this some more. All right, let's fly it. Oh, one more thing, <laughs> OSD. Uh, completes OSD uh, with um, horizon line. Uh, vertical velocity, horizontal velocity, GPS heading, mm -hmm. uh, home position, uh, direction. This thing really is loaded. It's almost like a fully, it is a fully functional GPS helicopter in a racing form factor. And now the, the, the OSD is the same OSD that came with the original version. Just adding the GPS just enables all these more features that uh, yes. everyone really wanted in the beginning. So, yeah. and as you can see, modular design, uh, you know, Here's your um, FPV transmitter right here. Uh, it plugs right into the board. Same thing with your receiver. And uh, you have expansion for ports for your receiver right here. Uh, and the OSD plugs in down here. And the camera right here. There's even an expansion port uh, for your camera. So you can add a Mobius or a GoPro. And it will actually power a Mobius with five volt power coming from the main board. Uh, the ESCs, also modular, pop in and out really easy with quick connections right here. So there's no soldering involved. Um, also, the lights have connectors. So this thing is just, when you break it, you just put another piece on and you go. Uh, you have them in your toolbox and you're ready to race. So we okay. love this. That's actually a turn ind indicator. It's kind of like driving a car. Oh, it's a turn signal. Yeah, it's oh, a turn that's signal. Amazing. Like you turn left, it oh, wow. blinks left. I didn't realize that. I'm about <laughs> yeah. to find that out. Maybe so when you turn, it initiates that. Car, oh, that's yeah. so cool. Right. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, let's test this puppy out. See yep. what she can do. Yep. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 